Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose XP. I'll bring you another Injustice 2 video, and today we're going to be doing is bringing you another installment of the Q&A series. That's right. So for those of you who are new to the channel or new to this series in general, basically what we are doing in these series of videos is answering some questions that you guys send in, whether that's in the YouTube comments section of my videos, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you would like, you just send me a question, whether that's about Injustice 2 or Spider-Man PS4, and make sure in your question that you include Q&A so that I know you'd like to be featured on another episode of this series. So with all that out of the way, let's get into some of the questions that we have today for Injustice 2. This is the first episode that we're doing of the Q&A series for Injustice 2, so let's just get right into it. First question coming from T Machine 97, and he says, Q and A. Do you think we will see the main universe heroes again in Injustice 2, or just the alternate hero ones with Evil Superman, Evil Wonder Woman, etc.? Thank you for your question, Team Machine. Now, to answer it, I do think that the main universe heroes or villains will be returning in Injustice 2 to some capacity. Now, the reason that I think this is because of the Harley Quinn and Deadshot trailer and something that Deadshot says in this trailer that heavily implies that he could be from the quote-unquote Earth-1 of the Injustice universe. Now, if you wanted to watch my video about that whole theory and about that whole idea, the link for it will be annotated on the screen as well as in the YouTube card on the top right of the screen. But to give you the gist of it, in the Harley Quinn and Deadshot trailer, Deadshot says something in one of the opening intro pieces of dialogue that sort of implies that he is from the original Earth, you know, because he sees Harley and she's crazy again and everything, rather than from what we had in Injustice 1 where she was working with Batman, she was sort of a good guy, you know, everything like that. Uh, or good girl, I guess you could say. Um, she was on the good side, you know. She wasn't against anyone. She was. She wasn't pure evil like she is normally. So, yeah, there's. It's very interesting to see what's going down. But I do think we're gonna get some of the main universe heroes coming back in Injustice 2. To what capacity, I don't know just yet. But it's gonna be very interesting to see what Netherrealm ends up doing with that. I'm very excited to see it. Now, the next question comes from YouTube again, and this is from Jason Martinez, and he says, Do you think it would be better to have Arsenal in Injustice 2 instead of Green Arrow so we can have Red Hood and the Outlaws? Now, I don't want to jump the gun and say Red Hood is confirmed, but I do want to answer your question about Arsenal and Green Arrow and whether or not we should have Arsenal over Green Arrow. And my answer really is no. I don't think we're going to get Arsenal over Green Arrow, nor do I think that that would be a good idea. And I think that's solely because if we get Green Arrow, we can get the best of both worlds all through the gear system. The One of the best things about the gear system right now that's going for it that has me most optimistic about it is that some of the gears that you can get or some of the things that you can get for your characters to customize them actually look like alternate costumes for those characters so imagine we get a set if green arrow ends up getting confirmed we get a set for green arrow that basically is arsenal you know it's a completely red get up he gets a red bow and arrow and everything like that and you're practically arsenal all through the gear system that's one of the beauties of it i think i really am excited about that and to see what the different options and choices are going to be hell through the gear system we saw some gameplay come out of gamescom you can change the color scheme of your character regardless of what gear he's wearing so you know you can get a harley quinn where she's normally wearing red and black clothing and you can completely change it to make it blue and black orange and black pink and black so maybe if we get a character like green arrow and we can change the color scheme with him we can make it like a light blue or something or a red like arsenal you know things like that and you can totally change the design and overall look of your favorite hero and i think that's going to be one of the coolest and most fun creative things about injustice 2 and it makes me feel very optimistic about the gear system as a whole regardless of whether or not that whole thing is going to be controlled by microtransactions i know i mention that all the time when i talk about the gear system but it's just something i'm very worried about and I hope it doesn't bring this game down. The next question comes from Jack the Amazing Spider-Man 2 or Jack TASM2. And this is also from YouTube. And he says, Q&A, hey Caboose, with the Wonder Woman and Justice League films coming out next year, do you think it's possible if the movie costumes will be alternative skins in Injustice 2? Now, I've talked about alternate skins in Injustice 2 and how exactly it could work and what I think it's going to be. And that being said, 
there's a chance this won't happen and there's a chance that it will now to speak on the chance that it won't well like I mentioned I made a video about the gear system and how the gear system probably works towards getting alternate skins you know they mentioned that for Supergirl or Superman instead of having the regular s shield on his chest you can actually get the red Sun crescent on his chest so I think that there's going to be a system through the gear system in which a lot of the gear pertaining to certain characters will make them look like they're wearing alternate costumes you know we saw a glimpse of that with the Harley Quinn trailer where she had some of the Jester outfit and everything like that so I'm assuming that is going to be how we're getting alternate skins quote unquote but at the same time on the side that we could be getting Justice League or Wonder Woman skins Ed Boon mentioned before Wonder Woman was officially revealed that with the Wonder Woman movie coming out next year he thinks that it would be cool to add a Wonder Woman movie skin for her character so yes there is definitely a chance that these movie skins will be added into the game I mean hell it happened with Injustice 1 with Man of Steel we know that the mobile game is chock full of movie and TV stuff for all of these characters that were in Injustice 1 so there's certainly a high possibility that the movie skins will be in Injustice 2 for some of the characters that end up in the game that are from those films obviously Wonder Woman the Flash, Batman, Superman, and so on and so forth. The Flash especially. I think that would look badass in Injustice 2. So my fingers are crossed, but we're just going to have to wait and see exactly how they handle alternate costumes in Injustice 2 come time for the release in 2017. Now the runner-up on questions that we got today for Injustice 2 comes from Twitter and it is from Ramiro Garcia and his Twitter at is Rami3100. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Please let me know if I did. But his question is, Q&A, do you think with the Flash series returning soon that the Flash and Captain Cold will be revealed at about the same time? So for those of you who don't know, the Flash season 3 is just around the corner. I believe it is airing in October in the first week of October so it definitely makes sense that Captain Cold and the Flash would be revealed around that time hell you know talking about alternate skins and stuff like that there could be a moment in the trailer where he's showing off some of the gear system you know you know how each trailer it kind of flashes through some of the different gears that some of these characters can wear while wow, flashes through I totally unintentionally said a pun there but I'm gonna keep going with it but yeah it's flashing through some of the gear that each character has and hell it could show off that some of the stuff you can get for the Flash is like the TV costume that would be really cool that would be extremely interesting or you know he could look like one of his villains he could look like zoom he could look like the reverse flash something like that that would be badass but one thing that I can say to you for sure and I will guarantee you this with Ed Boon being just about as big as a fan of the flash as I am I can guarantee or promise you that Captain Cold and the flash will be revealed in a trailer together i think without a shadow of a doubt captain cold's in the game we know the flash is in the game we just haven't seen him yet so i'm going to promise you captain cold and the flash will be revealed together and it definitely be a smart marketing tool to reveal those characters just in time for the return of the flash season three on television and now the last question of the day also comes from twitter and this is from jurassic luna aka or his at at least is Garrick L28. I'm totally butchering that and I apologize. Please, I'm sorry, forgive me. But he asks, uh, QA, do you think there will be exclusive gear you get from playing the mobile game in Justice 1 or in Justice 2 Mobile if they end up coming out with an Injustice 2 Mobile? Now, one thing that I'm going to definitely say is whether they're coming out with an Injustice 2 or Injustice 1, like whether they're sticking with Injustice 1 mobile and just continuously upgrading it, or whether or not they're going to come out with a new mobile game, we're probably going to get some exclusive gear by playing the mobile game. You know, they did a similar thing with Injustice 1 for unlocking some exclusive skins. You have to do certain things in the mobile game. I mean, granted, they ended up releasing these skins anyways, but that was way down the line. So... Yeah, I'm definitely going to expect that they're going to do some form of cross promotion because they obviously want more people to play these mobile games. Yes, you can definitely expect we're going to be able to do some stuff in the mobile game to get some exclusive stuff in Injustice 2, whether that's for gear or maybe alternate skins if that ends up happening. 
who knows it's probably gonna end up being gear but we're just gonna have to wait and see i'm super excited for injustice 2 thank you guys so much for all your questions and again if you'd like to leave questions for another installment of this episode you can leave them in the comment section below of this video or any of my videos you can leave them on twitter my twitter is in the description my instagram my instagram is also in the description or my facebook and my facebook of course is in the description just make sure wherever you're leaving your question to leave q and a and to leave your question centered around either injustice 2 or spider-man ps4 with all that said i'm caboose xpl please follow me on instagram and twitter and like me on facebook those links are in the description drop a like if you enjoyed leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new see you guys later